Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, install and set up JavaFX as if we were starting from scratch. Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to do is to go and download Java SC Development Kit 13. The reason for 13 is because this is a version that will work nicely with JavaFX. So if you don't already have Java SC 13, I want you to go ahead and install that and set it up. So you're going to go into the download section. The URL is provided in Canvas. And you're going to download the version for Windows and you're going to run the installer. So I'm going to do that now. And so the installer is going to pop up. I'm just going to install it. Next, 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 next. Just like normal. It is going to install it in C program files, Java JDK 13. And that's a perfect place for it. So we're going to just do that. And it's going to do the installation. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you already have it installed and you install it in a different location, then obviously that's going to be up to you. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to set up Eclipse. So we're going to set up Eclipse. So I'm going to open Eclipse, launch it. Again, I'm assuming you already have Eclipse set up and running. If you do not, then uh, get that working. If at this point in the class you do not have Eclipse working, then you probably have bigger issues than uh, setting up FX. So once if, uh, Eclipse launches, all right, we're going to install and I'm going to Eclipse Marketplace and I'm going to type in FX, FX, and I'm going to hit enter. And the Eclipse FX plugin is going to come up. I'm going to click install. It's going to say install pending. It's going to come up with, uh, do you want to accept the licensing agreement? I'm going to say yes, I accept and I'm going to hit finish. And down here at the bottom, you can see that um, it is downloading and installing. And then it's going to ask you to restart Eclipse. So up until this point, we have Eclipse set up. We have the Java JDK 13 installed. Um, and so now what we need to do is uh, install the JavaFX project or the JavaFX library and SDK. So let's get started first by configuring Eclipse. So now we have Eclipse. So now if I go to File, New, Project, I have a JavaFX folder and you can start a JavaFX project. So let's do that. JavaFX, JavaFX project, next. I'm going to call this my JavaFX. Now here's my problem. The default in my system is Java. 1.8. We need to use Java 13, which I just installed. So the way you do that is we go to configure JREs and you see that you have 1.8 here. We're going to click add standard virtual machine and it's going to ask you where, where is the home. Remember we install that in C program files Java JDK 13. So we're going to navigate to that location and select that folder. Eclipse is smart enough to go and pick out what JDK version it is and bring in the appropriate jars. We're going to hit finish and now we have two uh, JDKs available. So we're going to hit apply and close. So now if I, if I select use appropriate JRE and I hit the drop down, I see I have 13 as an option and that's wonderful. So I'm going to pick 13 for my FX project. I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to hit finish. And this is going to create my JavaFX project. So if I open my project now, I can see that it's wonderful and it's there. I have a problem though. It doesn't know anything about JavaFX. And the reason for that is because we have not downloaded the JavaFX JDK. Again, the JavaFX JDK is something that needs to be downloaded independently nowadays. It doesn't come with Java necessarily. It's part of the OpenJFX project. So again, you're going to go over to the OpenJFX IO link available in Canvas, and you're going to download and install it. So we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to go find the download page. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where is it? Download. Right? And it's going to tell us which version we want to download. We want the one for Windows. So I'm going to say download the Windows version, JDK. And that's going to download slowly but surely. Okay, so it downloaded. And so now we're going to extract the contents of this into a location that we know. So in my case, I'm going to put it into my D drive utilities or utils and JFX. And I'm going to drop it right in here and I'm going to extract it. So that's going to take a little bit to download and extract, but once it's done, we will have a fully installed and set up 
uh, Java J Java FX. So I'm gonna skip these files because I already did it. Uh, and so I have it installed in here. It's beautiful. So remember this location because we're gonna need it. So now we're gonna go back to Eclipse and now we're going to create a user library that points to our Java FX files. The way you do that is uh, you simply go into Eclipse and then Okay, you go into Eclipse and you're going to go to the uh, Windows Preference and we're going to go to Java and we're going to go to Build Path and User Libraries. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a user library called JavaFX. So we're going to go here and we're going to say JavaFX and we're going to add all the jars that were installed in our JavaFX SDK. So if we go into that location where we install the JavaFX SDK and click library, we're going to add all these jars to our um, to our user libraries and we're going to hit apply and close. Then we're going to, in our project, we're going to go to build path, add libraries, user library, and we're going to bring in our JavaFX library that we just created. And just like that, our JavaFX now understands what uh, our library is. So we have that configured now. Now, well, we're going to try and launch this application here and see what happens. So it's gonna try and launch it for us. And we're gonna get this error that says Jamma runtime components are missing and are required to run this application. So we have to tell Eclipse uh, what to do to specifically launch the JavaFX uh, um, module um, as part of our configuration. So to do that, we're going to go to the drop down here and go to run configurations. And we're going to go to arguments and as a VM argument, we're going to add the location of our uh, library. So I'm gonna do dash dash module dash path and I'm gonna point it to the library folder of my JavaFX JDK, just like that. And then I'm gonna say add modules JavaFX that controls and JavaFX dot FXML. JavaFX dot controls comma JavaFX dot FXML. I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna hit run. And if everything is correct, then we now should get a pop-up with our wonderful JavaFX application. And just to test it completely, we're going to um, uh, add a button in here. And so, oh, I have a meeting, so I'm back. Okay, and as a last test here, we're going to add a pane. Actually, we have a border pane here. I don't like it, though. I'm just going to call it pane P equals to new, new pane. Oops. Pane. And we're going to add P here. And all right, so this is going to autocomplete from C. Perfect. And I'm going to add a button B equals to new button. And I'm going to say b that set x less uh, set layout x is going to be 100. Uh -huh. and set layout y and b that set text is going to be hello. Oops. And then we're going to add a do p and do 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 do. And we're going to add it to our scene. And so now if we run this, hopefully we have a button that says hello. And so that means our JavaFX is working. All right, if you have any problems with it, uh, let me know, but it should work as long as you follow the instructions. Thanks.